So this is the A200S in its uh, prototype at the moment. It's got 18 fits and uh, I'm currently just testing it with this 1.2 motor, which is about 2 kilowatts or something like that. Um, we've got a 30 volt 20 amp power supply, which you can't really see, and uh, connected to Vesco. So we can quite happily. Uh, Spin our motor um, using all the various modes of this door, etc. And it runs okay. Um, we can run at very high ERPM. So That's uh, about 100, uh, 120,000, I think that is. Something along the, yeah, 100, no, 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 sorry, 105,000 or something like that. Uh, that's just as high as I can go with this power supply and motor, so I can test it a bit higher once I get a higher KV motor, but for the moment it looks like it's working fine. Um, so far the only issue I've had is I can't track the motor uh, like free running properly so you have to always keep the throttle up if you want it to not kind of jerk a lot um, but you know apart from that it seems to be working perfectly fine um, I can also show you the uh, current handling of it so if I Use the terminal, we can use a command um, on the new version of ESC tool, which is um, FOC open loop. Oops, sorry. I'll just check the help because I can't quite remember what the commands are. Um, so it's uh, this one. So we put in the current and the ERPM. So we'll put in, um, let's put 100 amps and the ERPM of 1000. Okay. And we're running at 100 amps and the motor is spinning. And we're using about 12 amps on our power supply, dissipating about 300 watts into our VESC. Uh, so the temperature is going up. Obviously this is without a heat sink, so this is uh, going to be a lot better when it's not got not a heat sink. Um, I can see that I need to turn this off because everything is actually smoking. <laughs> Certainly on the motor, and that does not smell good. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I think I may have burnt my motor. <laughs> so let's not do that anymore. But yes, you can see that it was um, handling it reasonably. Certainly a lot better than a standard vest could be doing. Um, there is quite a lot of um, heat sinking on the board already. Um, obviously, we're going to have these two clamshell heat sink pieces. Um, we're probably going to change this to be uh, water jet plates, so there'll be like a um, bottom plate, bottom plate, um, like a spacer that goes around the outside, and then another plate on the top that clamps on top of it. Um, I'm not sure quite yet whether that plate's also going to be aluminium or whether it's going to be um, a PCB that gets kind of clamped on the top of it or something. Um, it's still to be decided, so. But yeah, it's going pretty well. <laughs>